Hi. I thought I'd come on. It's a while since I've done a video. It's also definitely a while since I've done a walking, walking in the park with the trees video. So before I go on, it's been so. I hope you're all doing okay. Chuck in the comments how you're doing. It's been intense, hasn't it? There's lots of things going on. Things are moving and happening so fast. I might just park up here a minute, actually. Um, there's, yeah, lots coming up emotionally, lots shifting and changing all of the time. Um, I'm going to, I'm go I don't know how to turn my screen around while I'm doing the thing, so I'm going to just see if you can get the, the, the trees in the background look. There we go. There's my dogs. <laughs> and the beautiful trees. It's been a, been, a, been a bit of an arch, actually. I'm going to show you. So I'm in the I'm in the middle of town, really, but this beautiful park in the middle. Here you go. That's nice for those of you who might not have. Might not, not might not be close to trees, and I don't know about you, but I always get um, little sort of inspirations and things when I'm walking when I'm out in nature, which is why I wanted to share because it's really important right now that we can try and reconnect somehow with with ourselves and with um, you know get get out getting out in nature just brings you that sort of piece of of um, reconnection and um, <sighs> calm and and grounding grounding from within so I'm sat under the trees now and there was a, a few things that have been coming up lately that I thought um, I've been wanting to do a video and then been moving through my own things um, but a lot of the thing that, that's coming up is um, judgment, judgment of ourselves, judgment of others, judgment of circumstances and situations and choices people are making for themselves. Um, and. We've been born into a world where it's we've placed judgments on everything. Even I was having a conversation earlier today with somebody about a, a new team I'm going to be working with, which is amazing, beautiful, brilliant opportunity. Um, but we're saying something about the spiritual path, and that I don't almost don't like to say mention the word spiritual sometimes because people automatically assume that that is supposed to look and be a certain way that a spiritual person is you know it's all woo woo it's all love and light and um and all of that and it's really not i have been through times where i even thought that myself and thought that I was a bit weird for following that path. Um, and I am a bit weird, but we're all a bit weird <laughs> in our own way. Weird is good. You know, we're all little pieces of the bigger puzzle and experiencing life as, as we've chosen to, to come here as, as to have the human experience. Um, and so, and, and, and it is spiritual, but it's also, it's also human and it's, it's, um, it's practical and it's experiential. It's all of those things. And we've been put, you know, we've so needed this, needed to belong and feel seen and accepted and heard. Um, the, the those people that would like to keep control of us um, have created labels and boxes um, for us to fit into and what's happening right now is we're all breaking down the the barriers of those boxes and those those places that have have provided safety um, and 
a togetherness and where we have felt accepted, but they've also kept us confined. And we can think outside of the box. We can be outside of the box. Um, and so it's really important right now that we pay attention to that and what we're feeling that we can reconnect with ourselves, with nature, ground, ground this energy. We're being pelted. I don't want to say pelted. We're integrating a lot of energy right now, whether you have awareness of it or not. That's why the constructs of everything are breaking down. And um, the most important thing that we need to do is care for ourselves and have compassion for ourselves and not judge ourselves and apply that to every circumstance, every person, every situation as well. Um, I don't know if you can hear the birds. I always, it always, I always make <laughs> references to the birds when I do my videos because, or when I'm outdoors, it always amazes me that, you know, there's a couple of birds, some that size, there's some behind me over here, and they're, you can, you can hear them over the traffic, which I'm closer to, almost. Um, and it's a really good analogy for um, the fact of, you know, keep singing your song and doing your thing and experiencing what you need to experience. And singing your song and shining your light just some people walking past <laughs> um so yeah and and so the the thing that I was going to share and I was going to do a sort of a, a video from home with this but as it, I'm feeling like it's sort of coming up now um but it's it's um releasing the attachments to uh the stories and um patterns we're releasing at the moment what no longer serves us and that can be scary, stepping outside of the box where we've felt safe and we've felt, felt protected. We've, you know, we've, we've put labels on it and, um, and felt part of a team or a, um, uh, a group. Um, and that's given us safety. But at the minute we're being asked to step outside of that and because the, const the constructs of everything is breaking down. And what I have found myself describing, I've described it like this for the longest time because it helps me to understand, but it's, so I've found myself sharing it with a few people lately. Um, again, resharing it again, um, because I have, any time somebody might be a bit confused or trying to release attachments. I remember reading a book, sorry if I'm going off subject for a minute, but it'll come back. Um, reading a book uh, a few years ago now, three or four, no gosh, it's longer, about about six years ago. And um, I'd wanted to read a, a spiritual book and I was guided to this one because it had a butterfly on it. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the guy now, Stephen, somebody, but he'd followed the work of Robert Scheinfeld. So I ended up following following a path of, of looking at, at his work too and following um, the ultimate freedom experience, which is what he, uh, how he teaches, how he works, which really, um, yeah, that was a really eye-opening Part of my own journey. Let's see where my dog's on. Um, anyway, so in this book, I remember having a conversation with my husband and saying, "This means I've got to like it's say it's saying I've got to detach from everyone. I've got to, I've like my my comprehension of that at the time was I, c I couldn't get my head around it. I couldn't get my head around the fact that." I had to detach from all of the people in my life. I obviously misunderstood it, and it wasn't. And it was actually a catalyst for me to recognise and um, understand other things at the time. Um, obviously, whatever it was that I needed to learn at that time. But I remember just having a bit of a freak out and almost 
stopping the spiritual path for a while um, reject because I rejected and was in resistance to the idea that I had to detach I thought I felt like it meant that I needed to um, to, to stop loving them or to stop having them in my life and um, and like I say it took me on a on a little bit of a a detour for a while from, from where I was going but um, also that I could learn and find my way back to what it actually means for me and what what it what I understand now in a stand we say understand because we're trying uh, um, again language has all changed we've realized now that we're um, language has also been hijacked and um, used in uh, detrimental ways for us um, so you inner stand which means you bring it in and you you inner stand it for yourself what from your conscious awareness and where you're at um, rather than under somebody else or what somebody else is projecting onto you so my inner standing of this now is the detachment comes from the point of if you imagine that you are in a movie or in, in fact let's let's go from because there's so many layers to this um, imagine that you, so you're watching a movie okay so when you're watching a movie or a film you you watch it and you go through a whole range of emotions you can relate to characters in that movie you might laugh at bits you might cry at bits you see them on their hero's journey whoever the star of the film is or the you know the hero in the, in that story in that in that film or movie same if you're reading a book you emotionally go on a journey with them and you don't know the backstories of a lot of the other characters you're usually it's usually based around one character and you you go on their journey with them and you experience those emotions but it's with an element of detachment because once the movie's over you appreciate the the acting you appreciate the how it made you feel you like that it made you you know we all like to watch a good a good weepy or one that makes it depends what mood you're in it depends what you want to experience at that time you watch a movie because it's you know a certain one it might be a thriller it might be a um, a rom-com or you know whatever action uh, it might be something that's got a bit of everything in it but you choose to watch that movie for the experience that you want to have at that time and you um go along on the journey and you and you might laugh you might cry you might feel anger or disgust at um you know something that somebody's doing to somebody else within that movie but when you finish watching it you enjoy you have enjoyed the whole experience of that movie you will even congratulate the actor who played the baddie because that allowed you to celebrate with the hero all that they overcame um, and that they were such a good baddie they did such a good job at, be, at bringing out that you know making that the hero of the story step into their power and be who they are and learn their lessons or whatever it was that they needed to experience um, that that character brought into their experience in the in the movie and you can appreciate it from a detached place you've got no attachment you know you're not uh, they're not in your immediate in your life in your in your experience but you can watch it from that detached place and that is the best way that I've come to inner stand the detachment because it's not that you don't care it's not that you don't experience and allow yourself to feel the emotions but you feel it without attachment to the story and the other layers of that are that you have also written the story and you have also directed the movie and you're also the star of the movie. So if you 
think for yourself i'm not going to i'm not going to give you all of the, give you all of this but if you put yourself from a detached place in each of those positions and view it from each of those characters whether you're the creator of the story and what experiences you want to have within that and who you want to meet and what you need to go through to get to your to your happy ending or your happy beginning or your you know your death whatever it is it's all, it's all about you what you've created within that and when you're directing the movie you may have actors come onto your set that don't necessarily want to do things how you've pictured them in your mind. There's an interaction between those people as the director with who's got a picture in their mind from their perception of what they would like it to look like. You've got the actors who have got their individual roles. They're playing a character within the movie, but they're also... human beings on the set with their own reasons for being there with their own ideas how of how they would like to play the character or how it how things might look for them and then that so there's an interaction between them so you get where I'm going and For me, that seeing things like that, when everything gets a little bit overwhelming, because then we are also the hero of our own movie, of our own story. So when things are getting intense and they're feeling and and you're feeling like things are a battle or whatever, there's a there's a post I've, I've posted it before, or maybe I'll tie it in with this called the hero's journey. And there are stages, even when the writers are creating things, they quite often refer to the hero's journey because there's, it's like a, a circle, a cycle of, of lessons and, you know, or experiences, things that they, they want to experience that makes a good story, that makes it, you, that, that, where you experience that whole range of emotions to become the best version of you, to step into your power, to do whatever it is that you want to experience um, and for me to, to look at it like that to bring it all back into you know we say about going within and and all of that but it and and to detach and and which, which can feel scary but it's not that you love anybody any less it's not that you um, it's not that you don't care it's not that you are having to run away or move away or be, you know be in a different room it's looking at it from a it's either zooming out and looking at it from a, a higher perspective or coming within and what 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 is what am I feeling right now what am I learning from this what what is what am I trying to be shown why have I created this experience? You can ask yourself any of those questions from any of those positions from the from the writer, from the um, from the director, from the watching the movie and and being the star. You are all of it, and all of these other characters within it they are all they've all written their own story too and of course there's a crossover and there's interactions and what have you but we can't be responsible for anybody for anybody else and their story we don't know what they've written for themselves maybe we do on a a higher consciousness level we've made agreements and contracts with people to to be in their in their movie and to come in come in at a certain time and connect for for a reason that that post um or that that poem 
that people come into your life for a reason and a season or a lifetime and it's beautiful um but we have so much attachment to the story and how things are supposed to be and i've been you know the, the prime one for that i've had to release a shit ton um of resistance and how things are supposed to look and supposed to be um but that for me has been the most helpful thing and so if you're experiencing overwhelm if you're experiencing the you know need to 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 detach you can detach with love and appreciation and gratitude for that for the role that that person has played in your life or in your movie um you know thanking them for being the for for being the the trigger or the baddie in your in your movie the and the other thing is that we've all been all of the characters so i'm the baddie in someone's story and so are you and it's integrating all of those parts, accepting all of those parts. It's like with another person or another another being. I don't say person anymore either because <laughs> there's a common law and um, that's another video. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we, it's integrating that. It's really releasing and being aware of that and take stepping out of the box take you know not judging ourselves for whatever it is that we're moving through not judging other people for whatever they're moving through and not placing ourselves in a box and a category of how we should be or should be behaving should be doing and it's a daily practice really because we've been so oh excuse me we've been so programmed to do the all of the opposite you know we've we've been so programmed to to almost be desperate to to belong and to um you know we've been programmed into fear really so i hope that helps in some way it's what i feel like i've been drawn to share for quite a while and i hope that you can hear the lovely birds in the in the background if you can get out, if you're feeling overwhelmed, bring it, you know, bring it back, look, look at the bigger picture or bring it back into your heart, breathe into your heart space and what is, what is this trying to show me? You know, there's, there's the other modalities and stuff um, and there's lo- loads of people teaching and sharing things right now to help us, you know, move through, through these shifts. Um, and if you can if you can have faith in your own inner standing your own inner knowing of what resonates and what feels good and right for you make your choices and decisions from that place and also be aware of the movie and your role in it whether you're looking at it from you know as the writer as the director as the character within it um you know what whichever whichever perspective they're all valid they're all important and they're all you so yeah i hope that's helped um going to be doing some sharing some um tapping uh tapping videos to support you through uh, if, if you need it, if you're feeling overwhelmed, because um, EFT and tapping is an amazing um, uh, practice to ground you into your body and make you pay attention to your emotions, what you're feeling, and help you release it without... It's, it's a great way of dealing with trauma, um, allowing yourself to feel and acknowledging yourself and validating yourself, and then allowing the amygdala in your brain to to calm and center and know that it doesn't need to uh, produce the hormones that create the fight or flight response which is, is basically what what they're there for um, I'm also here if you want um, 
you know, private one-to-one sessions. I'm going to be working with a team shortly, which is really exciting news. Um, it really feels like things are shifting and there's a momentum that's occurring right now. So whatever, whatever you're moving through, know that it's right for you. You're right where you need to be and do what feels right and good for you. Get out in nature, connect to the earth. I haven't taken my shoes off today because I'm in the middle of a park, but um, it's good to it's always good to get your feet you know, on the grass, in the earth. Um, and yeah, breathe. Breathe into your heart space. Not your heart as the muscle, the space. The, the whole space, breathe in. Um, I shared with my son the other day, uh, he's working with some children and was saying, for the children, imagine, get them to imagine that they are, um, they've got a big balloon in their tummy that they're, that they're breathing and it, and it expands and, um, he said it worked really, really nicely for them and, uh, brought, brought calm and ease into what would maybe normally be a bit of a fractious situation. I also told them, and I can't show you this at the moment, but um, a really good fast technique for reducing anxiety in the moment is to do that, to breathe into your heart space, but also to squeeze your two fingers with the other hand um, because it brings your attention back into the moment and your body. Um, And you can just say to yourself, I'm safe. I'm safe. Thank you. Thank you for showing me. I'm safe. And just breathe. So hopefully that's helped some of you who have waffled on for 27 minutes. <laughs> um, which actually comes to nine, which is a really good number for the time. Because we're winding up cycles and um, ready to, to start anew. And it definitely feels like the momentum is, is starting to shift from from the fear and um, into releasing releasing that, looking at it, allowing ourselves to feel stuff and then move forward with authenticity and integrity and in our sovereignty and, and freedom. So huge love to you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for continuing to shine your beautiful bright light wherever you go. And huge hugs and I'll see you soon. Lots of love.